This is amazing gene editing. By cutting out one gene, researchers remove a tadpole's ability to regenerate. This is by Science Daily, source of Cell Press. By cutting out one gene, they remove the tadpole's ability to regenerate. Tadpoles that can typically regrow amputated tails or limbs lose their ability to regenerate after researchers blocked the expression of a newly identified gene that is one of the drivers for this regrowth. Furthermore, scientists hypothesize that the loss of appendage regeneration in warm-blooded animals might have been caused by the gain or loss of this gene. This is what was dubbed C-answer in an ancestor's genome during evolution. Tadpoles or frogs that can typically regrow amputated tails or limbs lost their ability to regenerate after researchers blocked the expression of a newly identified gene that is one of the drivers for this regrowth. In addition, scientists hypnot uh, hypothesized that the loss of the appendage regeneration in warm-blooded animals might have been caused by the gain or loss of this gene dubbed C-answer in an ancestor's genome during evolution. The work appears October 22nd in the journal Cell Reports. Quote, we suppose that genes can only disappear if we move the, if we're removing them as advantages for the animal. This is what the first author, Daria Karotkova of Shemiakin of Chinokov Institute of Bioorganic Chemistry in Moscow said. Quote, so we suggest that when this gene disappeared from warm-blooded species, it was by a mutation acting as a trade-off for the loss of appendage regeneration, end quote. Using a computer algorithm, the researchers identified several genes that disappeared in the genome of warm-blooded vertebrates, including humans, but are present in cold-blooded ones. They did this by searching the DNA of African clawed frogs, Xenopus laevis, to determine which genes code for regeneration. Then they looked for similar DNA patterns in warm-blooded species, such as chickens, and noted anywhere a gene deferred. They then selected one of the identified cold-blooded scientific specific genes, encoding for previously unknown transmember protein, and named it C-answer, cold-blooded animals specific wound epithelial receptor-like. The research team included Karotkova, Andrei Zareski, Vasily Liubetsky, Anastasia Ivanova, Lev Rubinov, Alexander Seliverstrov, Oleg Zverkov, Natalia Martinova, Alexei Nesterenko, Maria Tereshina, and Leonid Peshkin, and then overexpressed or blocked C answer in tadpoled tadpole embryos. They discovered that enhancing sea answer allowed tadpoles to regenerate lost tails earlier in their life than those that hatched naturally, whereas tadpoles with answer C blocked could transport transition into frogs but would not regenerate amputated appendages. Sea answer modulates at least two important molecular pathways that are common in all vertebrates. This is what senior author Zareski said, head of the Laboratory of Molecular Basis of Embryogenesis at the Shemiakin of Chinikov Institute of Bioorganic Chemistry. Quote, its loss in evolution might out alter the functioning of these pathways and accordingly lead to major physiological transformations. End quote. Quote, we also found that an overexpression of C-answer causes advanced brain growth and larger eyes, which surprises us since it means C-answer modulates for regeneration and brain development, says Karatkova. However, it was observed that when C-answer is blocked, Sinopus laevis tadpole had similar brains so that there is still work to be done in order to better understand this relationship. End quote. The work was supported by Russian Foundation for Basic Research and the National Institutes of Health. 
provided by Cell Press. Quote, by cutting out one gene, researchers remove a tadpole's ability to regenerate. End quote. Science Daily, 23rd October 2019. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today more of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.